Hmm. A crew is arguing on deck, apparently, while I'm not watching. An argument from the deck pulls your attention away from the gentle rocking of the ship. The smooth expanse of the blue of the horizon. Half of the swift are floating belly up, cries Vanisi. They reach out the whole catch, then end up with a flock belly crew. They look their life enough and we hold them out. Chitbuck retorts, gesturing violently at the pile of fish on the deck. Fish die when you pull them out of the water. That's what fish do. They push for signs of disease. Alchemy and survival. Uh, we have six survival. Several of the fish display discolored scales and bloated bellies. Clear signs of disease. Possible the meat could sicken the crew. See? An easy ass she drove rolling. I try to give us all squatting splatters. I should go back in his ear. I won't risk the crew's health. The wise is close, Captain. Two hands dumped the barrel overboard, returning to fish to the sea. Yeah, we can afford that. We have an ass load of food. No real reason for us to be overly uh overly scared. No reason to actually endanger the fucking crew and their health for that. We stand on the forecastle, gazing out at clear skies and gentle seas. The judgment of a crew darkens, adopting an ominous tone. Because it is double railing, they peer out at the sea. By the gods, I remember this. The surface of the sea swells, an enormous glowing shape is surfacing. Identify it. And perception. I have a perception. And what was used was survival. Only one breed of glowing sea life of this size to your knowledge. The resplendent phantom. A sweet flesh makes them a popular quarry among whale hunters. A long, pale creature breaks the surface of the water. The skin is translucent and freckled with various ferrous Phosphorescence is the word, motherfucking tongue. You can make out the ghostly outlines of luminous organs beneath it. It rolls slowly, staring back at you with glowing blue eye. The nerve behind it is thick as a halyard. Nothing response. Swan is still young. Swords. Grandma needs a wood reading. Plenty of meat on the beast. Price like this could feed us for days. With the captain's permission. Should say the goodness firstly. A very worthy of the Lord of the Hunt. Let's have some excitement, Captain. You kill one of Andra's harbingers and squander this blessing. Grab your spears and prepare for a hunt. This is the idea. Oops, happily! General snaps uh, and a salute. The crew rushed to the lower skiff. He was churned water. He attacks his beard, a sour look on his face. That's not animal cruelty. Harpoon in hand, she just the idea leaps from the skiff. He needed down to mountain to drive the weapon into the beast's flesh. Which are trashes! Slapping shelters the idiot from its back and into the water. The line from the harpoon to the skiff goes taut as the way drags the skiff along. Toss the skiff in a wide circle around the ship, knocking against the hull and nearly yanking Rumdum Rigger's arm from the socket. Still, we feel the creature's strength beginning to wane several hours later. Emma deems it safe to leap aboard the beast. He uses swift swings of the hatchet to sailor severs the beast's spinal cord. 18 hours passed. The crew ropes up the beast and lashes it to the side of the ship. The ship. They strip rich, fatty meat from its corpse and prepare it for storage. Good evening, you share one of the finest meals you've ever enjoyed. The beast's meat is surprisingly tender and sweet. Nice. We have one injured though. A surgeon. Well, I guess they immediately equipped it. I mean, why not let them eat good for once? Ah, sailing around the islands. Oh, more flotsam. More ever more flotsam. Yes. Very nice even, one might say. Okay, make a quick save again, so we can make sure that we do not... ...crash into people, is what I wanted to say. Tito points a dark spot at the distant horizon. Captain, no vessel approaches! Squint to the unfamiliar colors. 
the failing is a sloop and I'm a sloop. So we are the same. The ship draws near and the screws will open the gun ports. Into combat advance! Roof the fitting springs into action. Racing for the stations. Also Captain Swings the fitting to port. How far away actually are you? Shows a course of action. Okay, 430 meters. Full speed ahead! Run down Korea and cheat you by clamber up the mainmast and unfill the remaining sails to say it's a billow road and catch the wind of full, but fine, leaps forward. Ch Ch Starboard! And the crew is scurried to the stations in preparation for maneuvers. One of the sails hang empty as the ship comes to a stop. Winter has died. Fire the porch cannons! Okay, but I need to get my machine. I have a low chance of dealing sail damage. Chain shot, child sail damage, ship sails, and there's a low chance of dealing above. But the grape shot is gonna kill the crew. Let's just go for a cannonball. Fire! Ship crests over the peak of a wave. The cannoneers for a deafening volley. One cannon, mind you. Deposing ship. Miss. Nine beats to windward. Check in between port and starboard with all appropriate speed. But fast and your crew better prepared. You secure the wind gauge before the failing through has the pony to use to come and claim for themselves. Okay, since we are now reloading, let's actually try to turn around. Right, you will. Go to the stations. Uh, they shoot fire and they hit me. Ouch. You fire. And we hit. The main problem is we don't really have uh, much to do, so... We now have to wait until we can actually reload. Okay, try to jibber because... Uh, we have impact. I have to start with cannons. Cannons again. Please do some damage. Okay, we getting closer. Hold the position. I have starboard cannons. Cannons again. Come on. A nice solid hit. Fire the cannons. Two nice solid hits. We got them almost, almost. One hit. Come on. Hold position. We're just gonna sit here and fire at them, honestly. Hold position. Fire again. 
I think we done it. Sea water proceed to the holes in the Pailing's hull. Moments the ship is half submerged. Explosion in the hold. Rends the ship apart. A cloud of thick black smoke bellows into the sky. The wind carries its scent to you. Gunpowder. Blink and blink. The bulk of the ship disappears below the waves. All that remains are the main mast and steadered sails. Upright and final salute. Before they too are taken by the sea. Of course, we're going to share the loot with the crew.